Easter's about. It's colorful. It's pretty. It's plastic. Now wouldn't you like this instead of your silly lily? Your grandmother helped the orphanage. She always bought a lily for Easter. My grandmother made Easter. Uh, just a moment, young lady. You forgot to pay for that egg. Ouch. We sing this tune as rainbows bloom on eggs red, green, and blue. My colors in the windows when the sun comes shining through. The window here is mighty dear, a precious work of art. But patience, lass, we'll see this glass tomorrow when Easter starts. The hope of Easter's coming to shine forth in the morn. It is coming now to bring us the gift of my reward. Man, Nezer? Edmund, his name is Mr. Ebenezer Nezer. Uh, could you hand me an O? Sure. Is he really the richest man in town? Uh, I don't know about that, but his family has owned most of the property around here for generations. Uh, how about a couple of ours now? Even the land this old church sits on. Here you go. Why don't we ever see him in church? I don't really know. I heard he used to come when he was little. His grandmother would bring him. Uh, I need an O now and a W if you can find it. <coughs> so... Why doesn't he come anymore? How about an upside down M? Maybe he just doesn't like Easter. Oh, sure he does. Why, he makes all the Easter eggs in his factory. Yeah, but why doesn't he celebrate Easter with the rest of us? Doesn't he like church? Tell you what, we'll go see him later and invite him ourselves to see the unveiling of the new stained glass window tomorrow. In the meantime, you be respectful. Hey, isn't that old man Nezer?
ask him. I'm not gonna ask him. But he's your uncle. Well, that doesn't mean he likes me. Look, Millward, we've been working for your uncle for more than a year now to pay him back for burning down his theater, right? Right. And has he given us a single day off? Nope. And it was your idea to take Easter Sunday off, right? Right. So we could see the new church window? Right. So you should ask him. But... Morning, Mr. Nezzer, sir. Cabots, Millwood. Tomorrow's the big day, huh, Uncle Nezzer? Not as big as it'd be if folks didn't spend the day in church instead of out buying more by eggs. Right. Well, see ya. What was that supposed to be? I don't know. I panic. Oh, let me handle this. Uh, would you like the morning report, sir? Oh, let me guess. Egg production is up. I said I wanted to get. I'd say we have eggs aplenty. Well, that depends on how you look at things. Is the egg tank half full or half empty? Uh, the workers are happy, uh, though a little bit tired. A uh, satisfying fatigue of productivity. And there'll be a beautiful service at St. Bart's tomorrow. You'd think so, wouldn't you? All in all, this should be a glorious Easter. Uh, so, um, Mr. Nezzer? Don't you have chickens to tend? M may I ask you a question? No. Um, Mr. Nezzer, what I wanted to ask you was, uh, well, everything is going so well, so uh, couldn't we, uh, uh, close up shop just for Easter? What? Close up shop? Do you know what that would mean? Uh, you know when my grandmother started this factory? Oh, no, here comes the speech again. 112 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, sir. 113. She was making Easter before you were born. 113 years ago with one chicken and a coop. My grandma started dying eggs for the local Girl Scout troop. She started making money and as her business grew, she got more hens and colors and she knew just what to do. She built herself a factory to do what she loved best. She kept on dying Easter eggs, but then you know the rest. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, she... I suppose it was bound to happen. Her age she could not hide. More than a hundred years of living, and then one day she died. But before she drifted off that day, she whispered in my ear those words I never shall forget. I still hear them loud and clear. She said, Ebby? She always used to call me Ebby. Ebby, I've taught you the family business. And with my dying breath, I say you tell every single person Easter means no death. Now at first, this all confused me. Till then, I realized that as long as I make Easter eggs, it's like she's still alive. She built herself a factory to do what she loved best. And I'll keep making Easter eggs, my one and only quest. Tomorrow the world will see how I'm going to make Easter even bigger and better. And Grandma will live forever, just like she wanted. So you see? We can't just stop the factory. That would let Grandma down. But, Abby, uh, Mr. Nezzer, sir, I, uh... Hello there. Mind if we come in? That'll be all. Now get back to work. But I don't work here. 
<laughs> well, I'm not hiring either. Oh, no. That's not why we're here. We came to... Oh, you're that church fella, aren't you? Well, yes, I guess I am. So why are you here? Well, sir, I know your grandmother used to bring you to church. She loved Easter so much. Yes. Then you'll come? No. But you said... I said, yes, my grandmother loved Easter. What's not to love with the eggs and the candy? Oh, but Mr. Nezer, we miss you at the Easter service. If you ask me, you've got enough people locked up already, sitting in those pews when they should be out buying more eggs. I'm sorry? Look, I know my grandma liked that old church, but I have no idea why. I need to make Easter bigger to keep her alive, and that church is just in the way. What? And that's why I'm working on this. Ooh. Is that one supposed to be me? Because I'm not that fat. Sorry. Tomorrow is my grandma's birthday, and she has given me a job to do. So I've been saving all my money to make her Easter dream come true. Easterland, where Easter is forever! <laughs> Don't you just love it? Easterland? What's that supposed to be? Oh, you're really going to love this. I'll make Easter last all year long. We'll have Easter egg hunts every day to please the massive throng. Throng? It means lots of people. Everyone will buy my eggs and I'll give them all to munch. They'll buy my yummy chocolate bunnies for breakfast, dinner, lunch. Grandma will be proud of me for keeping her alive and dear. Church was her most favorite place, so Easterland will be right here. She built herself a factory to do what she loved best. And so I'm building Easterland, my one and only quest. But that's not what she meant. You can't do that. Of course, I'll have to build a chocolate bunny factory, too. You can't tear down the church. Don't be silly. That land has been in my family for generations. If you just came to the service, you'd realize that... You've got to talk to him. <clears throat> Uncle Ebenezer, Easter is a time when... When I am interrupted by people bugging me to come to church and save the orphans and shut my factory. But early tomorrow morning, a crew will start at eight on knocking down that little church and building something great. And folks will come from miles around In trains, on bikes, on legs And Grandma will live forever Just like my little plastic kids Mama, don't you do it! Do I can do that! I don't care about your service or your windows or your glass I'm gonna build the world a place where Easter is a blast! We won't let you do this! Be gone from me, naysayers who won't help me with my deed! Get out of here and don't come back! I'll go unaccompanied! We're fired? Affect you immediately! At 8 a.m. the church comes down, I'll show you without guilt. The world would be a better place if that church was never built! I can't believe it. Old man Nezer. He canceled Easter. That's Mr. Nezer, and he hasn't done anything. Yet. What are we gonna do? Well, we just need to have hope. Oh, you're up awfully late, Lassie. Yes, sir. But is it true what they're saying about the church? Aye, lass. It's true. But what's going to happen? What about the orphanage? What will become of us? <sighs> Let me see your home, lass.
Amen. <coughs> Amen. Now, you get to sleep. It's late and we've all got a big day tomorrow. Dad? Yes? I'm still really worried about old man, I mean Mr. Nezer tearing down the church. What do we do? Now, Edmund, as crazy as it sounds, you have to have hope. Hope? Hope for what? Hope that no matter what happens, God is taking care of us. I guess so, but... Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Good night, Edmund. I love you. I love you too, Dad. The concession stand will go right here. And the gift shop. Oh, it's gonna be great, Grandma. You're really gonna like it. I'll put your picture right over the door. soon returned. A lesson lived is wisdom gived. Uh, gived? What? I'm dead. Cut me some slack. Ebenezer, you are in for a wild ride. Huh? At the stroke of midnight, you will receive a second visit. Hold on tight. something, it didn't work out so well. Millward, we've got to save that church. Come on now, hoist me up. Okay. You're stepping on my... Oh, Ouch. Okay, just a little higher. Oh, oh you're slipping. Okay. Uh, if you could just... Whoa. Sorry. Try again? Yep, 
I'm just gonna stay awake. I'm not tired at all. I'm just gonna stay wide. like a bug to you. You're the visitor! Ding, ding, ding. Give the man a prize. Perhaps you aren't as dense as they say. So, wh what are you doing here? Maybe you are. Did you hear anything your grandmother said? Uh, something about me missing the point or, or something. Yes, Ebenezer, you've missed the point. The point of Easter, the point of that church over there. The... Oh, I know the point of that church. They try to keep people cooped up all Easter so they can't buy my eggs. And that's why we'll all be better off without it. It's going to be a long night. Come on, let's get going. We've got some ground to cover. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what are we doing up here? Take me back! Not so fast, big fella. I've got lots to show you. Could you put it in a picture book? Or maybe some slides? Nice try. Look, you're going to see many things tonight, but mostly you're going to see that you are a first-class stinker. Oh, you're not a miser or a scrooge or anything like that. You just don't see what's right in front of you. <laughs> oh, here we are. Ebenezer? Ebenezer! Would you quit clowning around? We don't have all night! Ooh. Oh. Huh. Ooh. Is this place still here? Uh, this is where I built Meesterland, you know. So I heard. After you. What's your name, anyway? It's Hope. Hey, you gotta help me. I've been kidnapped by a bug. What's the matter with that guy? You're not really here. Huh? Hey, it's Grandma! Grandma, you're okay! What are you doing here? She can't hear you. Hi, Grandma! You feeling okay? You're not really here, Ebenezer. This is Easter past. Easter past? Oh. Well, that's Grandma, all right. But I don't remember that funny-looking kid. That's you. Now hush up and listen. <gasps> Ooh, that's my first Easter basket. I remember that. Hey, it's empty. Yes, just like the tomb in the story. Now listen, Ebenezer, this is important. But there's nothing here. Oh, oh, look, look. Not even a jelly bean. Christmas. Christmas? Yes, that's where the story begins. You can't have one without the other. You see, hey, that baby buddy, boy born so wanna buy an Easter egg? Boy, listen to your grandma. She's only trying to help you, you know. <laughs> you won't listen to anybody. Yeah, I noticed. Come on, nothing more to see here. Huh? I still don't understand that Christmas thing. Sure was a pretty picture, though. Seems a pity you're gonna knock it down. Yeah. Can I go home now? Oh! Great! Well, uh, thanks for a very lovely evening. I sure did learn a lot, but I got a business to run, so be sure to say hi to your little bug friends for me, okay? What? Huh? Well, now you mess things up. I got two of me. Hang on. This is still Easter past. A year ago. Don't you remember this day? Oh, 
Oh, Grandma, the chickens have been slowing down since you, uh, since you, uh, but I've got a plan. Seymour, uh, thanks for coming. What's that? Uh, why, it's my latest invention. <laughs> the Easter Mephonia. Ooh, how's it work? Oh, you just throw this lever and watch the fun. Mmm, <laughs> I like that crazy beat. <laughs> so, uh, you called for an inventor? Why, yes, I did, Seymour. You see, I got a little problem. Problem? Problem. Problem. Yes, I got a little problem with my chickens. Chickens? Birds. Boys. Birds. Well, I don't know why you called me then. I'm an inventor. And I don't know much about boys. Boys? Boys. Yep, and I don't know nothing much about boys. Well, that's exactly why I called you, friend. I need a way to make eggs around the clock. Tick-tock, these real chickens always need a rest, you see. They don't matter. But where do I come in? Well, I hear you're a whiz when it comes to inventing. Inventing? Inventing. Mechanization. Industrialization. Inventing things sure is fun. Well, what I need, my friend, is a row of chickens. Chickens? Chickens. Mechanical chickens as far as the eye can see. Boys. You catch on quick. But what about the eggs? Eggs? Eggs! Eggs! What about the eggs? Can a tin chicken lay real eggs? Plastic. Plastic? Plastic, my friend, in whatever color you can think it. Plastic. 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 Yes, with mechanical chickens and plastic eggs, I can make Easter bigger than before. Easter? Easter. Yes, Easter. Wait a minute. You can't make Easter bigger with plastic eggs. Well, what I said, my friend, is... No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. What do you mean? Easter's not about plastic eggs and bunnies and baskets. But isn't Easter supposed to last forever? Oh, of course. And doesn't plastic last forever? Uh, yeah, but... I don't see the difference. Well, it's kind of... Inventing things sure is fun. Uh, how's that? I said inventing things sure is fun. Plastic? Plastic. Plastic. Chickens. Boyd. Chickens. Laying eggs all night long. Chickens. Chickens. Boyds. Chickens. Chickens. Boyds. Mechanical chickens. Boyd. What? Chickens. Did you even pay him? I gave him an annual pass to Easterland. A 10% off at the gift shop. Oh, well, that's generous. You think? Out, you. Oh, my. It's night again. You keep messing with the lights. So, uh, what happened here? This isn't your past, Ebenezer. This is the present. A present? For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. No, not a present. The present. Easter present. The here and now. Oh, lovely. Let's go for a ride. Okay, okay. I got another idea. Oh, what's this place? Shh, listen. Well, if Neza really knew how his grandmother felt, he wouldn't touch that old church. I wouldn't? No, she sure loved that old place. Did you know she paid for all those beautiful windows herself? Aye, and the new window we are going to unveil tomorrow. She commissioned it just before she passed away. She sure would have loved everyone to see it. Now Neza's going to knock the whole thing down. I should have talked with him more. Dear, this isn't your fault. No. It's that old sour Nezzer's fault. Why, I'd like to take that old coal scuttle and teach him a thing or two. I'd weave his Easter basket into a pretty kettle of fish. I'd, I'd, uh, I, uh, I guess he just needs to get out of that factory and find out what Easter is really all about. <laughs> What a ninny. The factory is what Easter's all about. The eggs, the baskets. You don't get it, do you? They're talking about the hope of Easter. The hope of Easter changes everything. If you take it away, you won't like what you get. I'll get a lot more time for folks to buy eggs. That's what I'll get. And I'll get to build Easterland and keep my grandma alive forever. <sighs> Mom? Dad? Edmund. You're supposed to be asleep. I know, but I couldn't sleep, and, well, I've been thinking. Yes? Mr. Nezer isn't a bad man. What a sweet little boy. No, he just doesn't have something that we all have. The thing that lets us celebrate Easter all year long. <coughs> Come on, Edmund. 
What's going on? How sick is he? Very sick, I'm afraid. Well, is he gonna... If nothing changes, this will be his last Easter. <gasps> when are the doctors gonna tell his parents? They already know. What? They know? But, but they're so calm. How can they be so calm? I, I don't, I don't understand. Ebenezer, are you ready to listen? There's a story that started on Christmas When a baby was born in the night And those who came far Who followed this star Were seeing a heavenly sight A heavenly sight touch of his hand He was born to be king He was rabbi and priest The best that he had He gave to the least He gave to the least He was born and he died Almost two thousand years ago He laughed and he cried He felt how the fear no, but one doesn't matter A story so strange And if it is true What does it change? What does it change? Well, he spoke like a prophet Like no one they had A simple young carpenter story, there'd be no hope. But it isn't. God has made a way for all who mourn and breathe. Death will never be the end if you just To give us hope, he rose. The hope of Easter is life everlasting. If you believe in who he is and what he did for you. If you believe. Of course, we all have to live with our decisions. Huh? The world would be a better place if that church was never built. What? Oh, oh that. I... I'm afraid it's time to see what this town would be like without the hope of Easter. Welcome to Easter Future. Come on, we've got to get out of here! Please, sir, what do you 
Would you buy a pencil? You can see me? All right, now go home, you little street urchin. I've got no home, sir, but bless you. What? I, I don't understand. Isn't the orphanage taking care of her? It was, but the orphanage was founded by folks filled with the hope of Easter. No Easter, no hope, no orphanage. Hey! My pencils! <laughs> hey! Somebody stop him! Oh, he'll get him. Stop! Thief! Oh, yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I don't get it. What do you think made him brave in the first place? Without the hope of Easter, why would anyone risk their life for someone else? No more. Hope, show me no more. We're not finished, I'm afraid. Reverend Gilbert. Oh no. Don't tell me. No. What have I done? It can't end this way. We have to change it. Hope! Hope? Hope! Tell me it can change! Tell me it doesn't have to be this way! Hope! We need you! I've got to stop! 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 We need hope! Too late? Huh? Are you there? Girl! Yes, Gov? What day is it? Today? Yeah, 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 today. What day is it? Why, it's Easter Sunday. <gasps> Easter Sunday! Easter Sunday! It never sounded sweeter. It's not too late after all! By a lily, Governor? <gasps> Thank you, Governor! <gasps> the church! <gasps> oh, happy Easter, Grandma! It's not working. I can't go on. I can't go on. No, we can't give up, Millward. There must be some way to get in there. Good morning, boys. A happy Easter. Nice balloons. Huh? Here's our break, Millward. Okay, I'll get the plans. You keep watch. Oh, dear. Thank you for coming so early, everyone, to what will be the last Easter Sunday we celebrate in this church. Moyer is talking to the workmen right now to see if they'll give us just a few minutes. <sighs> we are very sorry, Reverend, but we have our Annette's church! She must come down! Oh, gentlemen, please. It is a crying shame, but you cannot stand in the way of progress! <laughs> Touch this church! Mr. Nezer! What did you say? I said, don't touch this church! I know I told you to tear it down, that we'd all be better off without it. But I was wrong, I know that now. I thought Easter was about eggs and candy, but it's more than that. It's about hope. The hope that this life isn't all there is, that dying isn't the end, is a new beginning, if you believe. That's what my grandma was trying to tell me. That's what this church has been telling people since, since before I was born. I've seen what life would be like without the hope of Easter, and believe me, you don't want to go there. This church is staying right here so that everybody can hear about the hope of Easter just like my grandma would want it. Somebody! Anybody! The factory! The chickens! It's all gonna blow! What? We tried to turn off the chickens, but they're too hot! I got out okay, but Cavus is inside! He's trapped! Someone! Call the police! Call the fire department! Thank <laughs> you.
come to save those plans, or even this fat piece. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Nether. I've waited a long time to save my piece, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Uh, what? I came to get you. You did? Yes, Tavis, I did. Oh, come on. There isn't much time. Once that needle hits the red, we're done for. I guess they're all free this year. Mr. Nazar? So, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to do what matters most. Reverend, with whatever money I got left, I'm going to help you fix up that orphanage. And I'm going to make sure that boy gets his medicine. Your grandmother would be proud. I think she is. Well, how are you going to afford that? The factory's gone! It's all gone! <laughs> well, why are we all standing around here? It's Easter Sunday! And God blessed us, everyone! We sing this tune as cloud is blue and snow melts all away. The spring has sprung and with it comes the
So don't you worry. It's still the same dress haven you know and love, but now with a new blue curtain. This is Marley Mead signing off for Access 3. Keeping crisper crisp. And cut. What am I doing? A new blue curtain? Keeping crisper crisp. That sounded great. Can I write a tagline or what? Oh, Lewis, this isn't news. It's fluff. Crisper County needs to know. No, they don't. They don't need to know. What difference does it make that Dress Haven has a new blue curtain? Well, there might be somebody out there who loves blue curtains, and that person's really happy now. It's cable access. It's what we do. Well, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. Can I see that? I want to make a difference. I want to help people. Little Susie learns how to use the big potty. Man finds missing chickens. A reunion story. Oh, good. Those are later this afternoon. You know, that's why I studied theater. I wish I could be doing that instead. Theater has the power to help people, to give them a vision of something bigger, something more important. Well, then this next story might be right up your alley. Oh, I love this old building. You see, Louis, if this place were still up and running, I could be putting on musicals instead of reporting on chicken reunions. Too bad I'm tearing it down. Next story. Good day, Prescott E. Huddlecoat and the owner of this old theater. You're going to knock it down? Ah, yes. It would be a shame to see her go. Don't think it's without reservation. You know, theater blood runs very deep in my family. Perhaps you've heard of my brother, Winston Huddlecoat, talent judge on the hugely popular America's Got British Judges television show? I think I... Of course you have! Ah, but the theatre. Yes, she's old and quite unsafe. I plan to tear her down and build a playground. The children at the homeless shelter could use some place to play. Think of all the happy children! Keeping crisper crisp! But you can't! Uh, Louis, pause tape. But... Pause tape. <laughs> Pausing tape. But the theatre... I mean, think of all the good it could do. Whereas a playground for homeless children? Oh, please, Mr. Huddlecoat. Please don't tear it down. Miss... Mead. Marley Mead. Miss Mead, there has not been a production here in over 15 years, and the building is in need of extensive repair. What would you suggest I do? I can't believe you quit your job. Thanks for helping me move, Lewis. I can't believe I quit my job because you quit your job. Oh, don't worry. It'll be worth it. You'll see. We're gonna help people through the power of musical theater. Good thing I still live with my mother. Lewis, you are a great writer. Keeping crisper crisp. Not just anyone can come up with that. How's the writing coming? Well, I gave up on the turn-of-the-century farming musical. Oklahoma? Yeah, that one. Since it's springtime, I've been working on an Easter-themed musical. Oh, I love that idea. It's called Up With Bunnies. Catchy, but Easter is only a week away. You better get hopping. Ooh, clever. I fixed the lights in the bathroom, Miss Mead. Thank you, Howard. You bet. Don't mind the green wires hanging from the ceiling. I don't think those do anything. Okay. Remember, the show has got to be big. Big set, big lights, big cast, big bunnies. With big ears. Sure, big ears. Awesome. Remember, we don't have much time. We're ready for auditions. It's a great turnout. The whole town is a buzz. Thank you for helping us, Mr. Huddlecoat. Oh, please, call me Prescott. It's a pleasure, Molly. You have reignited my inner thespian. I think I might have some Tums. What? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. 
Sell peepaws at zip bean store. Shoot a peg of buggy bumpers. Shoot a peg of buggy bumpers. I get it. I get it. I'll try my best and get it. If I try my best and do this right, then maybe I will get it. For your audition, tell us exactly why you should be in the musical. But tell us through song. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Jerry. We're auditions one. And two. We really love attention. And we need something to do. Before, Before the singing, singing spectacle comes to its Easter end, end. We, we really hope, hope it's helped us make at least a couple friends. 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 I am Howard Greenman, I'm audition number three. Quite frankly, there's no other place where I would rather be. I really love inventing singing robot egg machines. If you have got a screwdriver, then I have got the means. I love it! Giant singing robots! One million times yes! I don't get the whole robot thing, and it was kind of poochy. That's Pitchy. Poochy is a dog. That's Poochy, dog. The blending of our harmonies is just shy of perfection. perfection. We're certain that we'd be an ideal musical selection. The red looks fantastic on you. So you are a barbershop quartet. Quartet? One, two, three. You did say quartet. Yeah, quartet! Next! I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll try my best and get it. If I try my best and do this right, then maybe I will get it. I'm trying to impress my boss. Songs make me feel dandy. It gets me out of doing chores. I hear there will be chaos. But in addition to these reasons, with their upsides and their flaws, the thing we love the most is the applause, applause, applause. No! Forget it! Love it's it! Great. It's awful! <laughs> the thing we cannot wait for is a pause, a pause, a pause! It was very karaoke! This is the best season ever! What? La 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 la! I'm la, disagreeing! La 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 la! With la, what you're seeing! La 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 la! la I feel la, like screaming! Come down, do this later! Just a few auditions left! Whew! Hello, we are the French Bees, we're auditions five through nine. There seems to be some tension in our French wing chorus line. Before you all get super mad and all fun disappears, perhaps we reevaluate the reasons why we're here. We believe that reason is puppies. Puppies are cuddly, puppies are cute. They're never nasty or mean. I give a home to all the lost puppies. If ever one day I were queen! Arr! That was interesting. Some of the singers weren't bad. But we need a lead. If Up With Bunnies is going to be a success, we need a star. Oh, um, hello. Oh, oh yes, hello, Winston. Hey, it's uh, my brother Winston, the famous one from America's Got British Judges. Yes, I see. Uh, of course. Oh, really? Well, isn't that interesting? Ha, absolutely. Uh, yes, have a good evening. Cassie Cassava. Well, yeah, she'd be great, but she doesn't live here anymore. Not after winning season three of America's Got British Judges. She's big time. And she's coming home to Crisper County for Easter. Winston says she'll be singing at her home church, Crisper County Gospel, this Easter Sunday. Here? I in Crisper? At Easter? Ah. Uh -huh. Where are we going? I'm going to the Crisper County Gospel Church. You're going home to write. Right. Up with bunnies. Check it out. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Up, 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 up with bunnies. They're so furry and adorable. Oh, bunnies make me smile. Catchy, can you imagine if we can get Cassie Cassava for the show? But isn't she supposed to sing at the church? Lewis, we can't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. Are what? Uh, 
Be careful up there. Ah! Ow. I need a bigger ladder. I think there's one in the fireside room. Uh, could you do me a favor and make sure we have enough bulletins? I don't want to run out. You are running yourself ragged. It's the biggest Sunday of the year. I'm hoping for a huge turnout. Well, attendance is usually up on Easter morning. Ah, but this Easter is special. Whoops! This Easter, Cassie is singing. Yes, it will be lovely to see Cassie again. We are all very proud of her. Whoops. Can you imagine the turnout? Cassie is a star! This place is going to be packed! You know, attendance has been down. If we can impress all the people that come Easter Sunday, they'll come back! And you, of all people, Pastor Erwin, should know that the church is not here to impress, but to serve. That's what Jesus did at Easter. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. You've been reading my sermon notes again, haven't you? Maybe. Oh, before I forget, could you sharpen the pencils in the pews and make sure they're stocked with visitors' cards? I'm going to the homeless shelter. I'll help you when I get back. Hello. Hi. Oh, be careful up there. Ah! <clears throat> Are you okay? Can I help you, ladies? Hi, I'm Marley Mead. I'm the new director at the Crisper County Theater. Uh, hi, Miss Mead. I'm Pastor Irwin. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't distract you. I won't be long. I just have a question about Cassie Cassava. What? What do you want to know about Cassie? Well, Pastor, I was hoping you would know where I could find her. We're staging a big Easter-themed musical on Easter weekend. And? And I was hoping to ask Cassie if she would perform for us on opening night. Oh, no, 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 no. Cassie can't perform for you. Cassie is singing here Easter morning. See? Yes, I can see that. But don't worry. Our show is Saturday night. It won't interfere. Oh, but it will. This is a big service for us. We'll need to rehearse on Saturday night. We gotta get it right. But oh, the show will be amazing. Think of all the people. I'm sorry, Miss Mead. Cassie can't do both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to finish up around here. Thank you for your time, Pastor Irwin. Okay, crew, we have a lot of work to do and not much time. Lewis, how's the finale coming? Great. I I'm still working on the bridge. Almost done. Awesome. Make sure it ends big. Howard? Howard? Does anybody know where Howard is? Ah! What was that? I think it was a giant painted Easter boy. Howdy, Marley. Just working on Gary here. Gary? My robot Easter Bunny. I haven't worked out all the kinks. He's the centerpiece for the Up With Bunnies finale. Show her. Did I say the part about the kinks? Yeah, you, you did mention that. Look, everybody, we gotta work out all the kinks. We don't have much time. Lewis, you've gotta make the finale bigger and more impressive. Howard, you've gotta make the bunny bigger, more impressive. We've got to seize this opportunity to help people through the power of musical theater. We've only got a couple of days left. 
If we can't have Cassie Cassava, then we've got to wow them with spectacle. Miss Molly, the posters are here. Great. Lewis, can you run everyone through the Act Two opener? You bet. All right, everyone. Places for Don't Cry For Me Easter Bunny. Don't cry for me, Easter Bunny. The truth is, you're cute and cuddly. I set a trap out to make you my pet. I kept you prisoner. Don't keep my chocolate. This is going to be great. Up with bunnies. Opening Saturday night. Hey, that's the night before Cassie Cassava sings at the sunrise service. I'm going to bed early. Good luck, anybody coming to this. Yeah, good luck. Good night, Miss Marley. Good rehearsal, everyone. Just one more before opening night. Be sure to get plenty of rest. Not me. Me and Gary are pulling an all-nighter. I'll be in the back if you need me. All right, guys. We're sunk if we can't get Cassie Cassava to sing on opening night. But I thought you said she's singing at the church. On Easter morning. And that she couldn't sing in our show Saturday night because she's rehearsing for the service. I know. I know that's what I said. But the fact is, if Cassie isn't here on Saturday night, the seats will be empty. How are we going to help people through the power of a musical theater if there are no people here to help? Excuse me. We've got to figure out a way to get Cassie here on Saturday night. Are you guys with me? And now it's time for the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe, the part of the show where Jean-Claude and Philippe come out and teach us the latest dance craze. Hello, boys and girls. I am Jean-Claude P. And I am Philippe. Get ready to learn the latest dance craze, sweeping the nation. So, Jean-Claude, where do we start? After you, Philippe. After you. We're a couple of shipper little French peas. Most of the veggies totally agree. -y. And when we're feeling really, really happy, we, we do, do the hopperina. You may ask yourself, what is the hopperina? And how do I do the hopperina? What am I missing out on? Will people like me if I fail to grasp it? Should I just eat the bonbon and go back to bed? That's totally normal. Calm down and we will show you. You don't need much to do the hopperina. It won't take too much time to explain it. Fuzzy slippers on your feet. Bunny ears up on your brain. Not do the hopperina. Okay, now that we've got on bunny slippers and ears, what we're going to do is take a hop to the left. Left, beautiful. Now, take a hop to the right. Right. Try the end. You've got it. Hop to the left. We do the hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. And do it once again. Uh. Ooh, hopperina. That's it. Amazing! You have mastered the dance so quickly! Let's keep going! Hop to the left. Wait till the hop arena. Then hop to the right. Hold it! Stop hop, the music! Hop, what hop, are you hop, doing? Hop. hop to the left, hop to the right, hop to the left, hop to the right again. This isn't a dance, it's hopscotch! That's hop arena. A dance has to be more involved. You need more steps, more room for interpretation. We have bunny ears. You think it's so easy? Let's see you do it. All right, then. No, 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 no. You need the ears and feet. Archibald is a serious asparagus. I believe you'd probably agree with us. The best way to not be a sourpuss. Do the hopperina. Hop to the left. He does the hopperina. He hops to the right. Trying not to complain. Back to the left. And do it once again. Hey, hopperina. This is actually quite fun. Let's see. I hop to the left. Happy hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. I'll do it once again. Hey, hopperina. Oh, this is quite fun. Um, can I have my ears back? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. This is very pleasant. This has 
been the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe. Tune in next time to hear Jean-Claude say... I am embarrassed for you! Cassie Cassava? Here? Tonight? Two tickets, please! I've got a bad feeling about this. All right, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Lewis, you... Distract the pastor. Paint peeling on the entrance. Looks terrible. Gotta fix it. And Prescott, you and I... Uh, you and I... Uh. Say it. Lure Cassie out of the church, onto the bus, and over to the theater. And we do that by... Making believe we're representatives of America's Got British Judges. Okay, good. This is so wrong. We just need to get her there in time for the finale. She sings, people go crazy, we bring her back, and she sings here on Sunday. It's the perfect plan. Yes, well, perfect wouldn't be my first word choice. Louis, you did finish writing the finale. Uh-huh, and Howard finished supersizing Gary. Oh, it's gonna be spectacular. All right then, let's go get us a star. When I think of Easter, Whoa. it's all the love of God. Love of God. Sending his son from heaven above to teach me how to love. That's what he taught me. Jesus gave this life. Yes, he did. It's more than I deserve. Yes, it is. I'll bring his worth to each and every one. He's the reason why I serve. I'm serving. I think about it. Whoa. I think about it. Whoa. I think about it. Whoa. I think about it. I think about God's love. Can I help you? Uh, your cable pipes are leaking in the, uh, the office. The copier is losing pressure. Quick, follow me! Excuse me, please. I'll be right back. What are you doing? I got confused. Hello, can I help you? Uh, there's a Lynx in the annex. What? Excuse me, we're looking for Cassie Cassava? Yes, I'm here. That's me. Good day, Miss Cassava. We're with the legal department of America's Got British Judges. I'm British! Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. We're, we're terribly sorry, Miss Cassava, but it seems there's been a misunderstanding with the terms of your contract as the winner of the contest. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Within six months of the final telecast, winners shall be obligated to perform at a venue in time of company's choosing. Uh, blah, blah. Failure to comply, blah, will result in loss of title. So you see, Miss Cassava, has anybody seen the guy? Uh, who are you? You look familiar. Have we met? Oh my goodness! The youth pastor is stuck in the baptismal! What? We don't have a youth pastor, or a baptismal. We sprinkle. While we're sure this is a simple oversight on your part, we must insist that you comply with the terms of your agreement. So I just have to sing once, wherever you want me to? But I... That's right. But fortunately, we've already made arrangements, and it won't take much of your time. What? If you'll just come with us now. Now? But the sunrise service is really Oh, early. you'll be back in plenty of time. Huh? Who are you again? I'm British! Well, looks like we've cleared up your bat problem. Probably won't need another fumigation till Advent. 
See ya! Full house. They are loving it. So I just go out there, sing this song, and then I can go? That's right. Bunnies, 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 up, 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 up with bunnies. Perfect. Bunny. <laughs> okay, it's time for the finale. Bunnies, up, 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 up with bunnies. They're so furry and adorable. Oh, bunnies make me smile. They're so fuzzy, they're so chubby, eating marshmallow yummies. They're just hopping, hopping, hoping you'll hop with them for a while. Bunnies up, up, up with bunnies up. Up, up with bunnies up. Come on with the bunnies. Up with bunnies. Up, 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 bunnies. Fancy bunnies, sporty bunnies too. Oh, oh, bunnies. Flat bunnies with a hint of khaki. Oh, yeah. Bunnies on ice. Bunnies dressed like tribesmen. Giant robot bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. With bunnies, they're so furry and adorable. Oh, bunnies make us smile. They're so fuzzy, they're so chummy. Even giant robot bunnies. They're just hopping, hopping, hoping you'll hop with them for a while. Goodness, no one was injured. I just wanted to help people, and I've made a total mess of things. All this could have been a disaster. Could have been? I'd pretty much say this is a disaster. Look, Marley, I've always liked working with you, but I think it's time for me to go back to my old job at Channel 3. If it's not too late. I'm freezing. My mom's probably worried about me. I'm... I'm gonna go home. See you around, Marley. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't even have a place to stay. Crisper County Homeless Shelter. Oh, well, I suppose I qualify. Hi, Miss. Happy Easter. Can I help you? I... Uh, I need a place to sleep tonight. Do you suppose... You are most certainly welcome to stay here tonight. It's freezing. They say it may snow. Thanks. It's already started. We'll be having breakfast before folks head out to the sunrise service, but you should be able to get a little sleep. Let me show you where you can rest. Easter. In a homeless shelter. It wasn't part of the plan. I... I just wanted to help people. How were you gonna do that? With a big production? I've always thought theater had the power to give people a vision of something bigger. Something more important. Hmm, that sounds nice. We've never been to the theater, Joshua and I. 
Maybe it could have helped us. Why are you here? Well, life's been kind of rough for us these last few years. We had nowhere else to turn. These nice folks here have really helped us. Helped you? Yeah. Meals, a warm place to sleep. Joshua can go to school. We're so thankful. One day we'll get back on our feet. Looks like they're helping you, too. <sighs> yeah. I guess they are. Good night. Good night. Happy Easter, Pastor Irwin. Mrs. B. A happy Easter. Happy Easter. Sorry we are so late. It looks like it's really coming down out there. It's a big spring snow. The bus barely made it. Uh, Mrs. Clark, I think we should get everyone who wants to come to the sunrise service on the bus right away. We're afraid if we wait and have breakfast here, we won't make it back before sunrise. And you can't have a sunrise service if you miss the sunrise. Oh, that's <laughs> so true. Mrs. Clark, I need to go to the bathroom. Besides, the folks here won't want to miss Cassie Cassava singing. <laughs> Thank goodness she came back last night. Can you believe the nerve of some people practically kidnapping her to sing in some silly show about bunnies? Some people do have a lot of nerve. You? I'm sorry, Pastor Irwin. Oh, what I did was wrong. I wanted to help people, but I wasn't helping anybody. Will you forgive me? What? Uh... Hmm. It seems putting on an impressive show isn't all that it's cracked up to be sometimes. Right, Pastor Erwin? Huh. No, I, I, I guess it's not. I forgive you. Marley, is it? Mm-hmm. Maybe the best thing you can do when you want to help someone is... Well, just help. Yeah. That's right. So, is there anything I can do to help? Can you take me to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Sure. We're not going anywhere! The bus is stuck in the snow! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! Has anybody seen Marley? Lewis! Prescott Howard! What are you doing here? We were worried about you. With all this snow... And no place to stay. We wanted to make sure you were all right. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss Marley. But how did you get here with this blizzard? Bunny power! Gary's awesome in the snow. Doesn't even phase him. His turbocharged hopper is better than four-wheel drive! You know, we might not have to miss the sunrise service after all. I don't know if this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. There's no time to waste. The sun will be up any minute. All right, boys. Can you get us to the church on time? You got it, Pastor Irwin. Here comes Gary This is fun. Can I try? No can do, pal. You are not qualified. This is a highly technical piece of machinery. It doesn't look so hard. What this do? Never touch the red button. Why not? Don't you ever watch movies? The red button is always trouble. She's breaking up, Reverend. Smooth sailing now. Puppy. So bad. Road construction! Ah! <laughs> Am I the only one without a seatbelt? Hold on! Even, Even more construction! construction. Ah! I can't look. <laughs> Fifth grade hopscotch champion! It's almost sunrise. The sky is turning pink. And I'm black and blue. Look, I can see the steeple. The streets are getting clearer. Looks like the snowplow came through. Ow. Hey, what's going on? Why did we stop? 
snowplow came through all right. They cleared the streets and dumped it all here. We can't get through that. What do we do? Wait for the spring thaw. But the sunrise service. I think we're going to miss it. Don't feel bad, Gary. It was a good run. It's not over yet, Howie. What? What are you talking about? Failure is not an option, Howie. Lewis, no, you can't do that. It's on your feet, soldier. No, Lewis. Lewis, no. Forgive me for tricking you into singing in my show? Of course I will. Hey, if you don't count the building falling down, it was kind of fun. And so the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So as we remember his death and resurrection on this Easter Sunday, let's serve others like Jesus served us. That's my cue. Hey, why don't you do this with me? Me? With you? Oh, Cassie, I don't even know this song. Oh, come on. You'll pick it up quick. I did it with your rabbit song. When I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, I think about God's love. I think about it. Think of Easter, oh. it's all the love of God. Love God. Sending his son from heaven above to teach me how to love. That's what he taught me. Jesus gave his life. Yes, he did. It's more than I deserve. Yes, it is. I'll bring his love to each and every one. He's the reason why I serve. I'm serve him. When, when I, I think, think about Easter, oh. I'll take a look around. look around. Lord, help me to see the people you need across the world or in my town. Let me see them. Join us in our singing oh. and spread the Easter cheer. Spread it out. Helping one another. One great big reason why we're here. When I think of Easter, when I think of Easter, when I think of Easter, I think about God's love. I think about it. I think about it. I think about it. He's the reason. 